hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel of course we're gonna go over something that TMZ put out as an exclusive talking about the price water house uh, Cooper's debacle meant with the Oscars okay <sighs> it says the Oscars PWC hires bodyguards at the wave of death threats. I mean, really, really, guys. Death threats over somebody just mixing up the little envelopes and getting somebody's feelings all in a, a um, panty bunch just because they didn't win, but they said they won, but it was a mistake and they had to go back. I mean, isn't that the Steve Harvey debacle all over again when he messed up on that award show? Miss America or something like it was. I mean, come on. Is this something they're just trying to make us not worry about since this drama when something else uh, that's very important that's going on with the government or our rights as citizens is taking place? I don't know. It might be a false flag, but, you know, check it out on your own. But anyway, it goes to say that the Oscars fallout is getting scary for the Pricewaterhouse Coopers employees responsible for the best picture debacle. They're in such fear for their lives, their bosses have hired security to protect them. Really? Come on now. Sources connected to the firm tell CMZ PWC decided bodyguards were necessary for Brian Culliam and Martha Ruzic, Ruse and their families because of death threats they received after their role in fumbling the best picture and best actress envelopes. Some of the social media threats included you, F, blank and blank and blank and idiot, I will F blank blank you every day and I hope you get fired and get canceled. I mean, those are just opinions and people expressing their uh, concerns. They, you know, saying they're going to come to their house, do this, this, this in the next couple of days. They ain't saying stuff like that. Okay. Uh, like their political officials or holding some high ranking office. I mean, come on, people. It's just mindless entertainment. Anyway, we're told PwC felt pictures that surfaced online or rules in Culliam's home made it clear something had to be done to wash their backs. Couldn't it have been an inside job, okay, of leaking people's pictures? I mean, hell, if you go on and search yourself, you can find their houses pretty well if you wanted to anyway. It ain't hard to pull up on the internet these days. Pull up your house. You probably can. Okay, as we reported, Brian and Martha will not lose their jobs, but they won't be allowed to work on the Academy Awards again. Well, hell, that probably was a job, their function of doing everyday tasks on that particular assignment. So, in, in a sense, I guess they did lose their jobs or got demoted. Either way, you're giving them security. What job will give a person security? I mean, it's not like they broke into Fort Knox and stole the whole gold or the money that we make or the printing press that we make money off of. I mean, now this is senseless, mindless, mindless bullshit. And I'm just I'm not understanding why we even paying too much attention to it. But you're just glorifying them again and putting them on spotlight for people to pay attention to this mess. Okay, I, we really need to be worried about the people in the Middle East, terrorism on that type of front. And not worried about these people that's getting, getting paid bukus of money just to pass around a freaking envelope and saying, okay, this person won the Oscar for this, this, that, and the third. Really? If that's where our society has gone to? Anyway, that's another report from Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do recaps and reviews. Have a nice day, guys. And don't forget to uh, subscribe, share my videos, and like them as well. Bye-bye.